in Cleveland a little bit earlier this year and top eight at our season one invitational for Dylan, the youngster from North Carolina. He is the season four invitational champion from last year. Yeah, Grixis Control versus Grixis Twin. I imagine post board, they're both just Grixis Control for the most part. Um, yeah, I think it's a little bit of a better matchup than for Dylan because he's just not playing as many Exarchs. He actually has four Deceiver X. Yeah. Does he have a little twin action going on? Yeah, too? no, they're both twin. Okay. Yeah, they're both twin. They're both they're both twin game one, and I imagine they shift into Grixis Control game two and game three. Here's a blood Yeah, you group. can keep in some twins to maybe keep your opponent honest, but certainly not four. So you saw Ross fetch up a land. Let's see what he's going to follow up with, though. He's got a Pestermite. Is the Pestermite a real Pestermite, or is it a lie? We'll find out, as here's a Serum Visions. So what does is, what is a real Pestermite mean? A real Pestermite means that, it, that the combo's in the deck. Oh, okay. And that you need to respect the fact What's that this is real. What's wrong with the 2-1 flash that taps something? That's is not that just not me. a good magic That's card? That's not for me. This guy was a reasonable pick in lore when draft, so we went like fifth. Oh, no, this was a good card yeah. in the draft. We were not, not a first pick, though. No, not no, a first pick, no, but you were happy having Pestermite. Yeah, right? you probably don't ever cut them. You probably yeah. just play them all. There's Olivia Voldaren. Put you to the test right now. Yeah, that you need to kill that one. Dylan does not seem confident with the way that he cast that card. I mean, no, it dies to Lightning Bolt. But boy, if it doesn't die to Lightning Bolt, it does a lot of things. Yeah, it really does. And this is interesting. So last time we saw our twin mirror, which was Todd Anderson's match last round, we saw a lot of no one tapping out main phase. What I like here is that instead, both these players have gotten to the point where they're wanting to get ahead on the board by enough that instead of trying to answer opponents, they're, they've both kind of agreed to this mid-range fight where they're tapping out against each other and hoping that one of them stick. Has, each of them believes that they have the threat that will stick. It's no lightning bolt, but it is one mana rule spell. Murderous cut, and that'll allow Miriam to attack with the Pestermite as well. Lightning Bolt to draw there for Donnegan. That's what I love about Twin. You have a five-mana kill spell. You have five lands. You say tap one, delve four, say go, and then you do nothing on your opponent's end step. Yeah. You're like, yeah, well, we... Yeah, no, we delve the full amount, always. Yep. I could do something, maybe. Maybe not. Lightning Bolt's going to go after that Pestermite. That takes care of that. Yeah, Ross could have fought with Dispel there, but I think he also wants the creature in the graveyard. He has a copy of Kolagon's command, so might as well let it die. Here's Exarch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, it's okay. He, does, he only has single red. Does he get there? Does he get there? Does he get there? Does he have twin in his deck even? Doesn't he drew have, the red mana source, but... Doesn't have twin in his hand. No. If you're Ross, how much are you sweating when he plays when he, when he plays Scalding Tarn? I, uh, after the draw step and he doesn't throw his cards on the table, I'm okay. Yeah. Because that means I'm not dead. But yeah, when he taps my land with Exarch in a turn, <laughs> I'm, I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm terrified. Negate was the reveal. Here's Culligan's yeah. command. That's going to finish off, or at least try to. I mean, Ross is just going to bully Dylan with card advantage now. There's the spell. Yeah, it's going to go after Negate. Ross is trying to finish off the Deceiver Exarch. Yep. They're both going to be out of cards, except that it's going, not even, except it's going to be Ross with, with, yeah, Ross with Karanos in play and yep. nothing else. And he gets to get back that Pestermite from the Culligan's command. Now Dylan is the one out of cards. And when you're out of cards facing out of Karanos, it gets real hard to win. He's still even on life points, so with some draws, he could... If he draws Tassiger this turn... That's what I was going to say. That's not winning, but not dead. I think it has to be Tassiger right now for Dylan to get back Crypto Command is acceptable. That's always a good card. He's going to sweat it out. I, I can appreciate this. Polygon's Command, I think, right? Didn't get a great look. I believe it is the command, however. Yep. So it doesn't have a, the only creature he has is... So he has Olivia, and he has... Deceiver Exer. Deceiver Exer. Tectonic Edge, the reveal there for Miriam. So he gets to draw two cards. He'll play the edge. Pass the turn back. Ross now just happy to wait this game out. Yeah, with that card advantage engine going, why, why move? Here's Serum Visions. That'll resolve for Dylan. He'll draw a card. It's another copy of Serum Visions. A little scry action here. Doesn't look too thrilled with those, so those will go to the bottom of the deck. Now here's Serum Visions yet again. Mystery card coming. Take a look at two more. And Dillian click among those options. Yeah, please do Dillian click and Serum Visions again. 
he's gonna want the click, I think, because he needs a real creature. He needs a real damage source. Now, will it stick around? Probably not, but I think he has a pair of Colagon's commands, so he could do a lot worse. Yeah, he's got a real decision to make. You, know, you, you don't see a confident body language there from Dylan because he knows what kind of trouble he's in. Well, he Click has this problem that Click and Colagon's commands don't work well together um, because of his mana count. Yeah. Here's the command. It's going to go after Pestermite and try to return something. Looks like he's pointing it to Seaver Exart. See if Frost has a counter spell here. He's got Snapcaster Mage. That basically counts as a counter spell since he can flash back to spell. Now Miriam will be untapping a land with the Pestermite. And we might see Tectonic Edge here. We might not. We won't. So now it's time for Kyrados' trigger. Software Falls means that Miriam gets to draw another card. Software Falls will enter the battlefield. Tectonic Edge will take care of a land. There goes the Blood Crypt. Here's an attack for four. Donegan down to ten. Things are real grim for Dylan. Yeah, don't look great at all. Just draws his card face down, passes it back. Scalding Tarn from Karanos. Ross is flooding out, actually. Yeah, but a decent not, amount. You're right. You're right. And he is. It's not going to matter, though. Dylan, you see Dylan's violin just flips a Vendillion click into play half heartedly. Yeah. Says, I'll target you. What do you have? Cullingham's command is the leftover, and that's going to do it. Ross Merriam is going to win this match here over Dylan Donegan. Two games to one. He wins the Grixis Twin Mirror, and he moves on to three and one. Don't forget, he did top eight our last Invitational earlier this year before being dispatched by eventual champion Jacob Wilson. So Invitational success, no secret to Ross. And we'll see if he can keep it going here. Yeah, good start. 3-1 is, is as much as you can really ask for out of the first set of the day. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, one thing we're going to keep track of over the course of this weekend are two gentlemen in the sideboard, Ken Crocker.